13 News Now is your back to school station with children back in class or getting ready to head back. Many parents are preparing to pivot if there's an outbreak of COVID-19. In Virginia, that's more than two cases. Last week, the VDH reported 12 outbreaks statewide in grades K through 12. And Sparaco spoke with a Chesapeake mother who had to pivot before the school year even started. Like most people, taking the first day of school pictures is a tradition in the Marsden family. They're very excited. My little guy is so excited to be in first grade. But this year, the tradition was delayed for Heather Marsden's children, Chloe and Jacob. They didn't get to start the school year at Greenbrier Christian Academy on August 30th as planned. Instead, the school pushed opening day back a week because a few staff members tested positive for COVID-19. When school's delayed and there's no summer camp, um, it, it was hard. It, I'm not going to lie. Last week, I was able to take leave from my job with pay. With the number of COVID-19 cases rising, Marson knows other parents may face similar challenges if COVID-19 gets into a classroom. We certainly don't want to go to school with everybody having COVID. You don't want to be sick, so we're going to make the best of it. And I think keeping a positive attitude and just taking it one day at a time, sometimes one hour at a time, she says despite the scare at Greenbrier Christian Academy, she doesn't want her children missing out on their education. We do the precautions, we wear our mask, we get vaccinated, we do those things, then there's no reason to not kind of get life back to normal because COVID's not ever going to go away. In Chesapeake, Anne Sparocco for 13 News Now. A Greenbrier Christian Academy and several other school divisions start classes tomorrow. Others, including Virginia Beach schools, open later this week. Some school divisions already started school. As kids head back to school, many parents are wondering why it's taking longer for younger children to get the vaccine than initially expected. Well, the delay is because the FDA asked for six months of follow-up safety data instead of the two months it asked for with adults. It also asked Pfizer and Moderna to double the number of children ages 5 to 11 in clinical trials. Pfizer says it likely will file the data for 5 to 11 year olds sometimes this month, then apply for emergency use authorization sometime in October.